Hello, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going to be checking out a brand new BRT system just north of Washington, D.C. I've never ridden on a bus rapid transit system before, but we're going to check it out. It currently operates between the Burtonsville area all the way down to Silver Spring. We're going to be taking it from the Briggs Cheney Park and Ride to the White Oak Transit Center, which is around half the route. I'm going to do the same trip in my car as the BRT, and we'll see which is faster, the, bu the uh, bus or my car. I don't know. We'll also check out the new stations and the um, cool features that are supposedly on the bus. Now, Montgomery County spent a lot of money on the project, so let's see how it is. So right now, let's head over to White parked. Oak. So I just parked at the White Oak Transit Center, and uh, you can see the sign. It's actually at this plaza here. There's a sign that says White Oak. You can see it right there. And um, let's see how long it is for the drive up to the Briggs Cheney Park and Ride. So here's the station, looks pretty new. You have the parking lot over here. You can see these Montgomery County cars there. Um, you have your smart trip thing that you can touch here. This is not on though because um, right now it's free. So it's covered at taxpayer expense. Um, you have this bike rental thing here, which I guess a lot of people are using the bikes because there's only three bikes remaining. Um, you have the regular bus stop over there, um, and this is the station. You have these um, very hard benches, but you know, pretty modern looking. If we look over here, you have the um, kiosks, which are not on because, um, as I said, it's free right now. Looks like where you get your coin return, ticket, receipt bills, credit card, yeah. So they put these kiosks here, and even when they put the kiosks here, there was no cost for the bus. Um, but they're just sitting here, not being used, but this one is on, but in some programming mode. There's the Metro bus right here. That one's going to Silver Spring. It could take that, but we're taking the flash. So we'll see when it gets here. And uh, yeah, you have this, um, thing here that tells us where we can go. We're on the orange line at Briggs Cheney Park and Ride and we're going to take it to White Oak Transit Center. Um, it's only four stops but here is the flash. Let's get on. the parking lot this is the parking lot we got my car here but all these other cars some police cars Montgomery County cars and just a few that are not in that van with someone still sitting in it on their phone it was here when I was here so I guess the county just hires someone to sit in their van for hours and just use their phone now I'm gonna drive down and see how long it takes to drive. Now in terms of, you know, how nice is it to be in the car, well, you can see the size of the seat. I think you know what a car is like. And um, the seat is definitely softer than on the bus, but you don't have as much space uh, necessarily. So let's head down and then I'll talk about the bus. Okay, I'm now back in White Oak, actually across the street right in front of the Office Depot because I'm gonna recycle some ink cartridges there. And um, let's go over the time that it took for everything. You know, unlike regular um, buses, like transit buses that you've seen and probably ridden before um, that only stop where someone is getting on or off, these uh, flash buses actually stop at every stop and all the doors open, even if no one's getting on and no one's getting off. Now on the way down, I was the only one on the bus for 
um, all of it except for the last stop, like one other person came, like one other person came on. And then um, on the way back up, there were a few people that were on for the first stop, like all got off except one other person, which got up at the following stop. So I was also um, the only one going to the park and ride, it seems. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty clean, I would say, on the buses. There was no trash as far as I could tell. The bus looked pretty new. It's a very large bus, especially when you're on there yourself. It's an articulated bus. Considering how few people there were on the bus, they could have all, you know, they could have used a smaller bus, that's for sure. Um, there's no need for such a massive bus with just, you know, four or five people at most on the bus. Um, it seems like a little bit of a waste. And, you know, the bus does go on the highway for some, for part of it. And, um, it's quite loud when you're on the highway in one of these uh, transit buses just because the motor, you know, like the engine has to like really, um, you know, power the bus up to go 50 miles an hour. But anyway, it wasn't a bad experience. I would say it's a lot of money to spend on, um, you know, the stations and everything and putting these kiosks in, you know, where you scan your card is actually they put a fare box, like a whole fare box inside of like a casing thing rather than just putting like one of those tap sensors that you see in some other cities, which I would assume a massive fare box um, at each bus stop, multiple of them, is probably more expensive than just putting a small little reader or something like that. So um, it's a lot of money to spend on a bus that very few people ride on is what I'll say. And uh, anyway, that's what the Montgomery County BRT is like. If you're ever in the area and you take it for a ride, I hope you have a good experience with it. Right now I'm going to head in and I uh, get $20 in credit for recycling 10 ink cartridges at Office Depot. But anyway, thank you very much. And as always, have a great rest of your day. And you can always subscribe below.